Welcome to Algebra 1 CST release question number 70. It says which best represents the graph of y equals negative x squared plus 3. And so in general, a quadratic equation like this, if we have ax squared, I'm going to say plus b in this general format. If you look at this number right here in front of the x squared, and if it's positive, that would imply, that means it's going to open, it opens up. So that would be kind of like this shape, opening up in this U shape. And then if it's negative, it's going to open down in kind of this upside down U shape. So it opens down if it's negative. This right here is negative, and so it's going to open down. That eliminates some choices for us here. That eliminates choices C and D. These both open up. And then this part right here determines where the y-intercept is. So this is going to be my y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis, if it's in this form, as long as we don't have something else out here with a, or in here with an x part attached to it. So if it's in this kind of form, technically I guess I should say that this would normally be my c part. You'd have your bx part. Normally with the b would go with the... Uh, as the coefficient with the x part. There is no x portion to this though, so we can think of it more like this. So plus c I, I think would be a better way to say that uh, to be consistent with what we've been saying all along with quadratic equations. Uh, so what do we have there though? What's the y-intercept? The y-intercept is at positive 3. So which one crosses the y-axis at positive 3 and also opens down? This one crosses at positive 3, opens down. This one, though, crosses at negative 3 and opens down. So there's the problem right there with choice A. It opens down, which was good, but this one crosses where it should, and it also opens down. This one actually crosses at the right point, but it opens up. This one, you got both things messed up. So the right answer for number 70, though, should be choice B.